We've just had our wildest sail yet on our way to the top of Australia. <laughs> we found ourselves navigating through narrow reef passes in huge built up seas. As 30 knots of wind and rain thrashed our faces, we struggled to keep our eyes open to see the uncharted bombies scattered in our path. Oh no! Luckily, it was low tide and the waves crashing on the reef revealed their location and we were able to pick a line through to the anchorage. All the mayhem was worth it as we arrived at this stunning, coral-fringed and uninhabited island in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. We have a feeling this is only just the beginning of the wild weather we will endure on our way up the Cape. Now this is sailing! For those of you that are new here, we're slim and so. It's good. Two uni students sailing the Karma, our 10 metre sailboat on a shoestring budget around Australia. And this is episode 8 of season 2 over the top. It's another beautiful day in tropical sunny Queensland. The sun is shining and the wind has stopped blowing. Ah, that's just that's just my dream at the moment. <laughs> it's still very very wet and very very windy and I am going crazy inside. I think actually we'll try and get off the boat today. Neef Wafflin, Neef Wafflin, this is the Ginger Crumpet. Ginger Crumpet, over. Ginger Crumpet, this is Neef Wafflin. Do you want to go for a little walk in the rain with the boys? Over. Yeah, sounds good. Oh my god! <laughs> what are snorkels for? Cutting onions when it's raining and when you go snorkeling. <laughs> They're try use. <laughs> has just dropped and it's like the calmest morning that we've had for a really long time. We're gonna literally make the most of it because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna last very long. So we're jumping straight into action. Quick! Hey, I know, it's like get into it. <laughs> Since leaving Early Beach, all I've wanted to do is go for a spearfish. But it's one of the few things I haven't yet done. With reef literally all around us, I am itching to get in the water. We've been for a zip around the island in the tender, scouted out a few good spots, and there is nothing left to do but get in the water and hopefully catch some dinner. And I'm just tagging along for the exercise. Thank <laughs> you. 
size. It's far too cold for us. Yeah. We've scored ourselves some resident sucker fish. They're such crazy fish because their heads are just like flat where they stick on to something and they're at the moment stuck on the bottom of the boat but yeah everything we throw over the side i absolutely love it <laughs> also it is kind of raining kind of not off and on at the moment so we're gonna take our chances and go have a fire on the beach i think we might get wet we probably will get wet probably but wet. we want to cook the fish that we got this afternoon on the fire so braving the elements braving the elements to cook a fish on fire fire cooked enough so we're thinking that that's what just passed us but if this one here stays to the port side <laughs> no, a stick stays out there. Starved. Then we should be. Oh, yeah, it is starving. Well, it depends which way. Oh, which way no, are you facing, dude? <laughs> no, it goes off the ship, and the ship is facing that way. So it's starving. So it's starving. But we're on an island, not a ship, and who knows which way the island's facing. Anyway, if that f's off there, we should be right at this stage. Got to pick lots and lots and lots of real thin stuff because we're going to have to like dry the wood before it lights. Oh, well, anyway, we're determined. Wait, did you grab the fish ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be coming around the island when we come. It's been a good day today, I reckon, team. Three coral trout, fire. I mean, Chili was happy. Chili sampled herself two coral trout off cuttings already. So, she's doing well. So we might have f***ed up because that water's coming up a lot quicker than we anticipated. So hopefully this starts burning down into coals pretty soon and we can get cooking. Anyway, oh, we could always scrape the coals up with the shovel we don't have. <laughs> so, yeah, that'd be good. I don't know, we've got to have at least an hour, I reckon. Miles just said, this ain't living. And honestly, this is like what all the swearing and all the boat jobs and everything is about. Like, jumping off your boat, diving on the Great Barrier Reef and all this insane coral and then managing to get yourself some dinner and cooking on a fire on an island that you essentially, there's a couple other boats here, but essentially, we pretty much got it to ourselves. Oh. Mm hmm Good? Oh. Mmm. Yum. We're standing in the water protecting the fire. <laughs> Bush mechanics. 101 here. It is like a, a mote. <laughs> Alright, the rain's come, so we've got to eat our buttery spuds in a rush. Oh, they are buttery spuds though. That one got sandy, don't eat the sandy ones. <laughs> oh, that crispy little bit of smoked. I'm more passionate about, I'm more passionate about spuds than a fish, I reckon. Oh my gosh. 
Literally that the wall. The final cook. The wall. Has saved us. Has saved us. It's been so wet at the moment that nothing dries. So we're definitely going to get wet today, get rained on today. So we're wearing these sexy numbers. We've decided to do another mad dash to get some more miles under the keel. We weren't planning to stop at Cooktown, but we've been told to check it out for its interesting history and small town vibes. We've also been pinned down on these islands longer than we expected in the foul weather, so it wouldn't hurt to get some more fresh water on board as we're not too sure where the next water stop will be. So we're heading the 20 nautical miles today. We are just putting our way out of here. We're going up forward to be on Bommy Watch. And yeah, we're just sort of trying our best to follow the track that we successfully made it in on. Um, back out of here and it's nice light winds today. It's only blowing like 18 knots. That's, that's kind of a nice little surprise. because when we went to open the boom bag we noticed that our main has a tear in it from probably the other day because it was like 30 knots um, so we haven't had a moment well obviously to fix that yet so that's why we're just running with the heady today and we'll fix it when we get in but our main really is hanging on by a thread it just needs to get us through this season and I think we're probably due for a new main after this season Seriously, it's probably more tape than sail at this stage, but it will do. <laughs> this aligns perfectly with our motto, do it when you can, not when you're ready, I think. Yeah. Do it when you can, not when you're ready, because we, you will never be ready. I don't, you know what I mean? And we've tried to be as ready as we can be. Like our main sail can work sometimes, so we can use it. Not today, can't use it today because it's got a little tear in it. It's a minor tear, it's like a flesh wound. You know, been here before. You'll see that we'll show you how much tape and stitching's on that. still blue. Oh, the sky is still blue. I thought it was grey. We've been quite caught off guard by how green and mountainous it is up here. I never would have thought of the Cape to be so mountainous, eh? I'm not too sure what we're expecting, but definitely something a little more red and flat.
Initial observations. Cooktown appears to be a fishing town. It's also very shallow. It's 2.2, 2.1. And calm. So guess who's sleeping good tonight? Hey all, welcome to the end of the episode. We really hope you enjoyed. If you've made it this far and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please feel free to do that. It really helps us reach more people. If you're super frothy on the content and you want to help us continue creating, um, you can check out our Patrons page and it helps us continue to have functioning camera gear in the ever salty environment that we live in. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. We've got a lot more sailing coming up for you. We have a couple of little mishaps. It's got a point where it's looking really, really weak and we put bush mechanics to the test on the high seas. Yeah, if it was gonna snap, it's gonna snap halfway, so. And we see a really special place. More importantly, we made it here alive and it's a great spot to be marooned while we do some repairs. So we'll see you then.